I created Species Nutrition with one mission in mind, to provide bodybuilders and serious athletes with no-nonsense supplements that work. I put my name and reputation on every bottle of Species Nutrition products. If you want to be your absolute best, join the evolution. I am Tyler. This is Baxter. He's saying hi because he's not in the ARC's muscle office as much these days. You're watching the Midday Muscle. In case you missed yesterday's show, we did an update on Nick Walker and how he's doubling down on his process over these next few months. And with all due respect to Nick, if Samson Data keeps going at this rate, he might have to do more than double down on his own game because Samson's been coming on like a man possessed over these last few months. When he was the guest poser at the Atlantic States two weeks ago, he made damn sure that everyone in the building got their money's worth. And there may be a solid argument to be had for him being even more impressive there than he was at the Pittsburgh Pro last month. Back at the start of the year, we heard a lot of talk from bodybuilding legends like Jay Cutler and Milo Sarsev that said Samson was a future Olympia champ in waiting. And if his next few months go the way that his team's anticipating, that wait might not be as long as they thought. Now, if you're a Michael Crizzo fan, the wait to see your guy make his debut is almost over. And with the update that he posted a few days ago, it looks like it will be well worth the wait. Even before his team made the official announcement about him competing at the Impro Classic, we told you that we heard rumors from people close to his camp about him making a season debut in Spain next weekend. And at this point, I think it's pretty clear that all the noise about him being the clear-cut pre-show favorite was more than warranted. Right now he looks like the guy we all thought he was going to be when he made the move to the Pro League toward the end of last season. So if he goes out next week and completely blows everyone out of the water, something tells me we're going to start hearing his name floated as a potential top 5 guy this year once we start getting close to November. And there's a much less fun update for you now from Sergio Olivia Jr. who seems to be dealing with yet another major health ordeal. We know that Sergio was a late entry into the Cal Pro a few weeks ago despite not being on the initial roster. And even though he would end up placing third there, he was admittedly not at his best. And now it looks like that might have been, at least in part, due to some broken bones in his jaw. This required him to undergo a corrective procedure last week on Memorial Day. With that said, according to a post he made on Instagram, everything seems to be on the up and up now. And he says that he's on track to come back in a few weeks and prove to his fans that he's got what it takes to be one of the best bodybuilders in the world. So assuming he doesn't fall on the wrong side of the injury bug again, or end up dealing with any sort of weird travel issues, hopefully at some point before the end of the summer, we'll see him hit his stride and potentially even make his way back to the biggest stage in bodybuilding. And last but not least, our final update for you today comes from Angel Calderon after he put the rest of the division on notice late last week when he posted this video from one of his most recent check-ins. A lot of the talk inside the division has geared towards Keon Pearson and his run up to the Texas Pro, but right now, the truth of the matter is that all roads to challenging Sean Clarita for a title shot this year ultimately lead through Angel, and we have a hard time remembering any point in his career when he was off the mark, which means that if you're going to try to move past him in the rankings, you better be prepared for a fight. He's been nauseatingly consistent with everything he does all the way across the board for a very long time. So unless he suddenly trips up, it's going to take a Herculean effort from these other guys who are all scraping for a spot in the top five to move him out of the pole position. And that will do it for yet another Midday Muscle. Thanks for still watching guys, keeping it locked on RX Muscle. We'll see you tomorrow.